shouldn't have gone on the mission. There's no greater adrenaline, you know, to being that close to, to dying. You're there with your brothers. You, as long as nobody gets hurt, it's, it's great. Obviously, he's going to have to get stitched up. Uh, our, our medic came over and actually ended up putting a piece of cellophane on his back and then stuck that over and it, and it worked perfect. How you doing, brother? Yeah. You good? Yeah. yeah, there you go, right? How you doing? I'm good, man. Don't worry about me. I mean, it, it had to have hit his spine in, in some way, shape, or form. It just centimeters, not even an inch game, just centimeters, millimeters to, to really, really doing damage and to paralyzing him or killing him. Medivac got there in about 20 minutes, I think, uh, give or take. You shot once, that's it. Like, thinking back at it, I'm like, man, I feel like there's more that I could have done. I feel like it didn't really hinder me the way that it makes it look like it would have, if that makes any sense. Um, I wish that, you know, I would have been able to get back up and help Colin, you know, grab the mortar tube, grab the rounds. You know, he shot my M4. I didn't get to shoot it. I was pretty pissed. <laughs> this is going to suck going up, I promise you. Yeah. I'm not going to let you fall, though. All right. They put me on the litter, and, you know, they tell me that, you know, this is going to suck because you're on your back, and, you know, obviously that's where the wound is. And last thing I remember seeing is Colin he waves by to me and says, you'll see me later. I'm just sitting there and I'm like, oh, please, you know, I hope my tagline doesn't snap. Because a buddy of ours, you know, he had gotten shot a while back and his tagline snapped as he was being meta back. And he did nothing but just spin in circles the entire way they were lifting him up. And it was terrible. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, please don't let that happen to me. Watching him get medevac was still kind of surreal, but it was actually almost kind of warming because I knew that I knew that he was good. Uh, I knew his his wounds weren't life threatening, um, and he was going home. The doctors they told me that you know it was millimeters away from my spine. Every day I think about it, I'm like, you know, I, I could be in a wheelchair right now. Uh, I, you know, this. My, my mom actually wanted me to come back and buy her a lottery ticket whenever I got home, so. <laughs> I definitely regretted uh, having to leave my guys. I wasn't prepared to, you know, leave them and they're, you know, still probably in the shit. And I, I was pretty upset about it. I think me and Colin were two of the same breed. He was the, the soldier that I wanted to be. Like, I modeled everything that I did after him. So, I, you know, I credit him with the success that I've had in my Army career. Honestly, if I could stay deployed my entire Army career, like, I would do 20 years easily. I definitely feel like I found the fight <laughs> that I was looking for. Probably shouldn't have gone on the mission. There's no greater adrenaline, you know, to being that close to, to dying. You're there with your brothers. You, as long as nobody gets hurt, it's, it's great. Um, that being said, it also changes when, when, you, when you do start losing people. 